สวัสดีครับแมนกระดาษฟิลิปปินส์อีกแล้วทุกวันนี้วันศุกร์ที่1เมษายน2521เป็นวันศุกร์ที่1เมษายน2521และนี่คือการอ่านภาษาอังกฤษของสำนักข่าวที่เดลี่เพรสบรีฟิงที่ CCSA ซึ่งเริ่มต้นกันด้วยการอ่านภาษาอังกฤษของสำนักข่าวที่เดลี่เพรสบรีฟิงที่ CCSA 1,891 cases recorded for today, as you can see on screen. Out of that number, 1,799 are from cases of local transmission. So basically, the majority are from local transmission. 85 cases from active case finding and seven cases from within the state quarantine system. Now, today we have. New recoveries at 1,821. So if you observe, the number of new recoveries is almost equal to the number of new confirmed case for today. That's very uh, pleasant news to hear. So almost matches with the number of new cases, 1,821 recoveries versus 1,891 new confirmed cases. Now the active cases. That we have so far is 28,745. That's cumulative uh, since the very beginning. Out of this number, currently, there are 829 cases in critical condition. And out of the 829 cases, we have to date 270 cases on ventilators. This is a 20 new cases more uh, addition from yesterday. We have continued to have high number of fatalities, uh, well above 10. So today we have recorded at 21 new fatalities, unfortunately, making the cumulative number of fatalities in Thailand now standing at 224. Out of the 21 new fatalities, we have nine male and 12 female age ranging from 39 to 90, and the median age being 73. In terms of the distribution of provinces, for the fatalities, we have 10 from Bangkok, two each from Shonburi and Samut Prakan, and one each from Ubon Ratchathani, Kalasin, Nakhonsi, Tamarat, Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Patum Thani, and Petburi provinces. And more than half of the fatalities were infected from close contact with family members. Four of them, in particular, were infected from friends and colleagues at the office, and the rest from visiting markets and various other venues that had a lot of congestion of people. Now, I'd like also to take this opportunity to express condolences to family members and friends for one particular fatality of Nakhom Chuan Chun, or Mr. Akhom Pridakun, a celebrity and comedian actually in Thailand who passed away yesterday from COVID. And of course, I mention this not because he is a celebrity or that anybody is more special than other people, but because I mention this because COVID affects everybody, no matter who you are, no matter if you are a public figure or not, whether you are in the older age bracket or younger age bracket, whether you are working or staying at home and the rest. So it's very important for us to continue with the various important measures that we have been talking uh, almost every day about. Now just some observations from the new cases. Provinces with the highest number of new confirmed cases are firstly in Bangkok, which is 739 cases, followed by Samut Prakan, 142 cases, Shonburi, 126, Patum Thani, 64, and Chiang Mai, 61, as you can see in the tally on screen. That's uh, updated every day. Now, from the CCSA meeting this morning, the daily meeting that we have each day, this morning, we discussed about the situation in various provinces, which actually are becoming more stable to date. And active case finding, it is, it is resolved that it should still be continued to be practiced, implemented in the provinces, especially among high-risk groups, to detect infections in the early stage and also to prevent deaths. As you see, we have a death rate that that's kind of climbing in Thailand around uh, 
from the early t the top the the tens, the teens, until the twenties. Now, hoping that it will not go go higher. And for example, in Bangkok, there were over twenty eight thousand persons who have been tested from active case finding during this latest wave, um, and around a hundred sorry one thousand. 273, or approximately 4.54% of those detected, uh, of those tested, were detected as confirmed positive cases. So 4.5% from active case finding found to be positive. In the Bangkok metropolitan area, we see the rise in the number of patients in serious conditions and rise in the number of uh, fatalities. Most of the new cases were infected by family members, so therefore social distancing within the family and other disease control measures must be practiced to protect your own family. And we reiterate this often from time to time. Just some additional pieces of information that might be of interest to the English language audience. Firstly, the shortage of the Favipiravir vaccine, it's been reported uh, in this briefing in the Thai version already. That regarding the news of the amount supply uh, is insufficient to cope with the increasing number of patients with serious conditions, the government ph pharmaceutical organization affirms that it has already distributed the medicine to hospitals nationwide, and the GPO also states that there are more than 1.5 million pills of favipiravir in reserve, and 3 million more pills due to be delivered this month in May. And during this month, there will also be 3.5 million more doses of vaccine, Sinovac vaccine, delivered to Thailand. The first batch of 1 million doses arriving on the 6th of May. Now, the total number of inoculated uh, persons in Thailand vaccine now has reached 1.9 million. 1.9 million. Now, medical supplies sent to India as assistance. Today, the we, medical supplies were sent to India from Thailand to help the country cope with the rising number of infections, including 25 oxygen generating machines and 200 makeshift beds sent by the Royal Thai Air Force, special flight to the India Red Cross Society. The Thai and Indian governments have been working closely to combat the pandemic and previously India has also provided medicine to Thailand to help fight the pandemic. And for that flight, on the return flight, there will be four Thai nationals who are infected with the virus to board the flight to receive medical treatment in Thailand. The passengers are three infected Thai embassy officials and one high-risk person who worked closely with them. On the issue of provinces asking for cooperation to stay at home during nighttime, currently there are 15 provinces asking for such cooperation from residents to stay home during nighttime. As you can see, there's a recap on screen there from the provinces from each region in Thailand that had, that had asked this, for this cooperation. Also to remind you that the new set of measures as agreed by the general CCSA meeting have become effective today, the 1st of May already. If you've, been, if you've been viewing our briefing in the past few days, of course, there are new stricter measures effective since midnight of Friday night. So therefore, it's effective today, Saturday, the 1st of May already. One issue is uh, no dine-in in Bangkok, which is uh, in the uh, highly controlled uh, area or the dark red uh, area zone. The, so you see on screen there the various provinces um, that have been asking people to stay uh, indoors and you have the timing there again. Please take note of the time that the uh, provinces have asked people not to uh, come outside. The provincial administration also vested with powers to impose stricter measures, uh, additional stricter measures if required. So please check with your local authorities if you live in the provinces of Thailand. So finally, um, today is International Labor Day, just to wish, use this opportunity to honor those workers who have worked in Thailand tirelessly uh, to help Thailand move forward and get rid 
of COVID. So happy Labor Day weekend, and please remain practicing DMHTT to help us flatten the curve in, curve in Thailand. So thank you for your attention, and we'll see you again tomorrow. สวัสดีครับกลับขอบพระคุณค่ะ